Mr. Bucci, you do understand that you're now in court for a third degree stalking of a man. I'm innocent. Just because I'm obsessed with Tariq, that doesn't mean I'm stalking him. Well, there were several eyewitnesses who said they saw you lurking around the Black History Museum. Prosecution, would you like to bring a witness to the stand? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Um, I'd like to call a Mr. Eric Mays to the stand. Now, Mr. Mays, we do understand that you are a hostile witness. Yes, I'm hostile. I was just trying to enjoy my banana pudding at a senior citizen's brunch at the Black History Museum. I didn't know I was going to be involved in some damn case about a big booty bow. Hold up a minute, Mr. Mays. You're out of order. You out of order. That bear's out of order. That ugly man sitting over there with that red hat and that pineapple-shaped head is out of order. Ew. Is that how you do? Mr. Mays, if you engage in another outburst like that, I'm going to hold you in contempt of court. Do I make myself clear? Yes, you do. That's it. Contempt of court. Contempt of court. Prosecutor, you want to bring on your next witness, please? Yes, Your Honor. Um, the next witness is Hollywood actor Morgan Freeman, um, who happened to be at the Senior Citizens Brunch at the museum where Mr. Bucci is accused of stalking. Mr. Freeman, can you please tell the court what you saw when you were in the vicinity of the museum? It was a dark and dreary night. As I temporarily stepped out of the museum to go to my vehicle to retrieve a bottle of hot sauce for my chitlins, I briefly came around the corner to the image of a bear with the widest hips I'd ever seen. It was a heavy set bear. It was a sassy bear. It was a musty bear. And the scent from that bear penetrated my nostrils like the scent of mint julep tea at the crack of dawn on a warm Mississippi morning. But in this case, it wasn't the crack of dawn. It was the crack of that bear's ass that I was smelling. Objection, Your Honor. This is just a bunch of babble and hearsay. Objection sustained. My client is not a stalker. He simply has a man crush. He was born with a chemical imbalance that makes him attracted to men. That is why he's built like a hermaphrodite. As you know, California just passed a new non-binary law that allows men to pursue their fantasies without any judgment. In other words, if he has wide hips, you must acquit. Well, based on these new non-binary laws and this other information, I'm going to have to dismiss the case. Case dismissed. Yay! Yay! I won! I won! Order in the court. Order in the court. Now, Mr. Bucci, if you continue to bussy pop in the court, I'm going to have to hold you in contempt. Take that, prosecutor. How do you like those apples, Morgan Freeman? In your face, old man. You better get away from me before I kick you in them wide childbearing hips of yours. Oh, no. A hundred feet, a hundred feet. I gotta go. Cheeks don't fail me now. Hey, Bucci, get in the vehicle. We need to talk. What's this about, boss? Well, Bucci, I had to pick you up here because we dodged a bullet with this court case you just had. The cover for our operation was almost blown, so I can't have you coming up to the FBI headquarters right now. So what's the plan, Buff? Well, it's time for you to go deep undercover, Bucci. Next week, there's going to be an FBA luncheon there at the Black History Museum. 
It's going to be a red carpet event with celebrities and other guests there. Okay. We have this secret powder that creates incredible gas in the intestinal system, but it has a bitter jollof aftertaste. We need you to find someone who can sneak some jollof into the event. Then you're going to use this powder and put it on the jollof, and the guests are going to get gas. And this is going to cause incredibly bad press for the museum, ruining its reputation. How am I going to sneak some jollof into an FBA event, Bob? I'm going to stick out like a sore thumb. That's why you're going to have to go deep undercover. And you need to take a couple of people with you. You can't use any of our assets at the moment because things are too hot right now. So you're gonna have to find your own assets to assist you with this mission. Who am I gonna get? The only people I know who know how to make jollof are foreigners, and they would look suspicious as well. Well, you've been running the Pan-African scam for a few years now. Can't you get some of your Pan-Africanism buddies who can go undercover? Well, Buff, the problem with that is most of the ones I know are non-FBA. And some of them have janky hairlines. And if they walk into a foundational black American event, their covers will be immediately blown. Well, Bucci, you need to figure out where you can find some Pan-Africanists that can go on this mission with you. Because time is of the essence. You know what? I did see a guy who did a lecture at our local Olive Garden, and he was a Pan-Africanist. And I heard he opened up a school not too far from here. Maybe I can go there and see if he has some Pan-African students that we can recruit to assist us. Well, Bucci, you go over there and you make it happen. Because if you don't get this assignment to go off without a hitch, we're going to slash your Olive Garden budget. Oh, no. Don't say that, boss. Don't say that. Trust me. I'm on it. Please drop me off at my Bucci mobile. This area looks kind of weird. I hope I'm in the right spot. Greetings, my brother. Welcome to the Buster Douglas, Mariah Carey, Tevin Campbell, Patti LaBelle School for Boys. How can I help you, my brother? I'm currently working on an undercover operation, and I need some of your Pan-African students to help me infiltrate an FBA event so that we can sabotage it. I'll make it worth your while financially. Well, I appreciate your offer, my brother, but we currently don't have any more students here at the school. Wow. What happened to the students? Some of them didn't want to come to class and they wanted to hang out on the corner. And I'm not going to be able to psychologize them off the corner. Some of them had to be put to sleep. For how long? For good! Wow, that's intense. Well, what should I do? I really need to get some Pan-Africanists to help me with my mission. You know what? I might be able to help you out. We have a maintenance man employee here at the school who's working on my HVAC, and he's a Pan-Africanist. Maybe you can talk to him. Oh, goody. That would be wonderful. Oh, I see he's coming out right now. Oh, my goodness. What is this bear doing here? What are you doing here? I thought you worked at the recording studio across town. I have multiple jobs. You lazy Akatas wouldn't know anything about that. Now, what do you want, nigga? I need help going on a secret undercover mission infiltrating an FBA event at the Black History Museum. How am I going to do that? I would stick out like a sore thumb. I know this. That's why I need you to wear a disguise while you sneak in some poison jola. If you help me out with this mission, I can get the FBI to help you get your green card. If I do this, I'm going to need a third wingman to act as a distraction. Can I bring my cousin who's visiting me to go along with us on this mission? 
Yes, you can bring them, but you guys have to cover your hairlines so that you can blend in. I know what to do, nigga. I don't need you to tell us how to whack. So you and your cousin meet me at the museum this Saturday night. I'll reach out to you tomorrow so we can plan this out more. This is good, my brother, and I am glad that I've been able to assist you. Now, since I've helped you out, here's how you can repay me. Now, you are big and husky, and you look like you eat grits. I love grits. Then send me your grit money. All the thousands of dollars you spend on getting fat, eating all those grits, send me your grit money for the school. Why should I do that? How dare you question the woke walrus? I'm Big Papa. Do you know who you are in the presence of? I'm not really sure, no. Well, I'm a descendant of Jesse Owens. I'm a descendant of Winnie Mandela. I'm a descendant of Cisco from Drew Hill. Okay, I got it. Well, good luck on your school walk, Warren. B32. Okay. G14. Woo! Bango! And the winner is Percy Earl. Give him a round of applause. You are the lucky winner of a $45 Groupon for the Cracker Barrel. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I love it. I can taste them butter biscuits right now. Now, the next prize for the next game will be some complimentary tickets to an FBA event at the Black History Museum, where there's going to be a meet and greet with the legendary group, The Whispers. Oh, The Whispers is coming. Well, I just be done. Hey, Percy Earl, The Whispers is coming to town. Ain't that the group you was in back in the day? It sure is and they had the nerve to kick me out the group. I remember you telling me that. Well, what happened? Why did they kick you out the group? I wrote all the songs, and I came up with all the choreography, and they was jealous of me because all the shine I was getting, because all the women loved me. That is something else. I remember it all came to a head when we was on tour years ago. We was down there doing a concert in Memphis. Night, ladies. I sure did. I loved it. And you look real good up there, Percy Earl. Ooh, look at you. You trying to get some good travel tonight, ain't you? Percy Earl, we need to talk. Excuse me, ladies. Now, what has you got to talk to me about? You keep improvising during our performances and running up there singing lead. That's messing up our routines. Messing up the routines? I'm the best thing that ever happened to this group. I'm selling all the records. The peepers is coming to see me. They are coming to see the whispers. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Scotty. You wish you can watch it like Percy Earl, but you can't. That's why you is jealous of me, because all the women's love some Percy Earl. You know what, Percy Earl? I done had enough of you. We done voted you out the group. So it's over for you, Percy Earl. Security! What, what, what is this? What is this? You ungrateful sons of guns. How is you gonna do this to me? I made you two caterpillar mustache having niggas. I made you. How dare you? They kicked me out the group and then they started turning people in the industry against me. And a year later when I released my solo album, Straight Outta Selma, I didn't get no promotion or no radio play. They made me get blacklisted from the industry. 
because I was deemed too difficult. So what you gonna do now, Percy Earl? I was gonna go to that FBA event at the museum and gives them a piece of my mind because the day of reckoning is here. I hope this disguise is good enough. I don't want my cover blown. Hey, Bear, is that you? How did you recognize me? I can spot those heaps from a mile away. Anyway, this is my cousin, Mongo. What did you do with the Jolof powder I gave you? We already put it in the Jolof, and my cousin switched it with the Jambalaya over there at the buffet table while I was causing a distraction. Oh, good. Now we should eat some of the jambalaya and talk about how good it is, so that will encourage others to eat some too. That is a good idea. Which one is the jollof and which one is the jambalaya? I think this one is the jollof, eh? So let's eat some of that jambalaya over there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This jambalaya is so delicious. You should try it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. This jambalaya is delicious. You should get a big plate of it. I haven't seen you around here in this neighborhood before. What's your name? Uh, uh, um, um, my name is Daquan Jackson. Daquan, it sounds like you have an accent. Where are you from? Um, 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 I'm Golagichi, nigga. That is where my accent is from. Keep your eyes open for them whispers, Charlie Ray, because they going to give me what they owe me. Hello, gentlemen. Are you enjoying that delicious jambalaya? Yeah, well, it's pretty decent. I can't complain. Hey, why you guys look so familiar? Um, uh, I don't think we met. We aren't from here. This is supposed to be an FBA event. Why is you dressed in an outfit like that? Why is you over here looking like Aladdin? Um, I'm FBA. I'm FBA too, nigga. Um, I'm dressed like this because I'm a background dancer for MC Hammer. And I have to go to rehearsals after I leave here. Wait, eh, is that Afrobeats? Eh, this is my song. Eh, forget this undercover operation. Eh, I have to go dance, nigga. Eh. Undercover operation? Hold on one cotton picking minute. Look at that hairline. I knew I smelled ass and must up in him. It's that Darren Bear again. What is y'all up to? Hey, is that Percy Earl? We ain't seen you in years. What is you doing here? Well, well, well. If it ain't my old group that I made successful. I came to confront you about all the money that I'm owed from y'all stealing my style and kicking me out the group. You is out of your mind, Percy We didn't steal your style, chump. And the day you get some money out of us, baby, is the day hell freezes over because we ain't giving you nothing. Oh, really? Well, you know what that means. We is gonna have to get busy. Get your ass off me, Walter. What's going on with my stomach? Uh, my stomach is bubbly too. I think we ate some of the poison jollof. Poison jollof? What the hell? It ain't over, man. It is not over. And when I gets out of the VA hospital after this fall and I sees you again, it is going to be hell to pay. Hell to pay, here. Yeah?